Well, I think basically I've always loved music. I started doing music at our church. My father's involved with the church. And uh, yeah, I just used to do, I always used to do backflips. I used to climb bubbles, climb up trees, fall off the trees, land on my shoulder into all of back. So, <laughs> so basically like, yeah, I just, I always loved it, you know, and um, there was a guy from our church that was actually one of the dopest b-boys from Mitchell's Plain, uh, the church is based in Mitchell's Plain. He was one of the dopest old school b-boys that no one knows about. I um, mean, his name was Andre, so if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> and um, yeah, he could do flying mills, nutcrackers, headspins, baby windmills, everything, you know. Each b-boy basic style that there was back in the was back in the day, he could do it, and I got the opportunity to actually have a few sessions with him. You know, no one knew because he was married; he had a few kids. And um, on a youth camp, you know, when the guys go crazy, they just fall into the windmills, and that's how we actually got to see that he was a b-boy. Because I, I heard about Ramon and Emilia Black when he was at POC. Um, do you know that is what I heard? But this guy was actually doing some some eels moves and he got to teach me um, and then black noise came to our school um, and by that time I was I could do like the windmill I could do swipe and uh, well, and obviously before black noise came to, to the school Gavin was actually uh, in the area uh, spraying a car and uh, yeah and then he you know, used to do a couple of moves impress him I even bought him a two liter coke and like just gave it to, to give me some three lessons and yeah, so from there, I think I, I was just, I've been practicing all 2000 was my first opportunity. Actually, 99 was my first battle at Battle of the Year, um, Cape Town. That was my first time I, I entered competed and I never got anywhere. Then the following year, which is 2000, um, I was with Crazy Hoop Squad. Uh, the crew came fourth place and I got the opportunity to then go to Germany at Battle of the Year and compete there. And then ever since, um, 2000, I think I've been competing and also I've, I joined Black Noise. I got to meet the guys in Black Noise, you know, Emil, Angelo, um, Ray Guns, obviously Gavin, Dennis, Lester. Yeah, and basically I've my, 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 my early 20s, 20 to 25, I, I got to, my whole life just flipped upside, upside down, just flipped upside down. From school, I didn't finish my final. Um, great because that's when I got to, to go to Germany and my dad was like, okay, it's either matric, your final exam, or it's, it's battle of the year, but he gave me the opportunity to decide, and <laughs> obviously I decided to go to Germany. And um, yeah, and you know, my, my mission was to not to prove to them that I'm going to make it, but to, you know, just show them and, and, and be grateful for the opportunity that they gave me to actually go, because uh, obviously your parents want the best, you know, from your kids and they wanted me to study, they wanted me, and I was, you know, I was studying, I just started doing graphic design in, in matric at Frank Jubilee Art Center, and I was going to go, I actually went for my, uh, to, to um, my interview at the AAA School of Fine Arts, and then, you know, it was either that or black myth. And then I, t I obviously chose that path, it was the best path that I've actually chosen, um, you know, just getting to travel the world every single year, like, three to four times a year. I didn't expect any of this. It was just the biggest dream that I actually am still about to have happen before the I even had a dream. You know, so like I got the opportunity to, to see all of the world. And I think that is, that experience gave me a lot of knowledge, you know, people because I used to compete as well over there, not just perform. I used to compete against the uh, up-and-coming European b-boys that is now judges and that is now on the panel. I got to battle them and pull off their pants and make them a bit upset. You know, and that's how we basically built, um, I built the name, you know, while I was a black man, just battling, learning from the guys, learning from Ray Guns that was doing, you know, the most beautiful vocals. I got to be in studio with them, um, you know, just pick up, pick up things. And yeah, I started Ubuntu in 2004. Um, I kind of felt that it was my time to, to you know, to go solo because you can't ever be, you know, associated with one with a big group. You know, they're always going to be your family and your friends. And but I felt, you know, it was just my calling to go solo and, and uh, start my own thing. You know, because I'm getting older. So yeah, Ubuntu's been um, a successful journey for me. 
um, you know, I've been pushing hard. In the beginning, it wasn't that easy because I basically just lost. When I left Blackness, I lost sponsorship, I lost opportunities, I, I lost travels, I lost a whole lot. So I had to basically build my own brand, but I've built it from the stepping stone that they have given me. You know, and I respect them for that. So, yeah, I've, I, basically, in you know, while I started, I so then ventured into onto doing music and, my, and an album talking about my experiences as a b-boy, my experiences with Black News with Crazy Hip Squad and um, to respecting all, everyone that, that um, you know, started out this, this journey that I'm now.